today I'm going to be talking about something called Accelerate Accelerate <laughs> Shit, that's a tongue twister Accelerating your skills, your physical skills How to get the blueprint for uh, learning You know, is it a system? Is there is there even a blueprint? Well, we are going to find out So I'm going to use this shit Okay, let's get straight down to it. What's up guys, it's Yusuf, I'm back again. Do you miss me? Yes you do. So when it comes to learning a physical skill, like throwing a baseball, or delivering a, a knockout roundhouse kick, or drawing art, doing something physical, um, with, with your limbs, drawing with your feet, whatever it may be, it always comes down to one thing. It all comes down to developing a strong skill set. So, why is it that when you was in school, because I had this, you always get that one guy who was always good at physical uh, physical activities. Like, what was it? Was he just um, genetics? Was he uh, natural? As people like to throw that word around. Was he from another planet? <laughs> or was it that you were just that bad? <laughs> Well, the truth of the matter is, when it comes down to learning, yes, genetics does play and can play a part. But that doesn't mean that you cannot accelerate and learn just as fast as that gifted dude. Luckily for you guys, I have got the answer. So before we get into the do's and don'ts, I want you to listen to me. I'm going to talk about something called myelin. It's going to give you a better understanding of accelerate. I did it again. Struggle with that word. Accelerated learning. There you go. Right now, as you see a picture, and that is myelin. You know, myelin is a fatty white substance that surrounds the axon of some nerve cells, forming an electrically uh, insulated um, sheath. As, as it's called a myelin sheath. Just how cables work on. You know, they have that insulation cable. You know, the copper wire, and they have the insulated with uh, plastic. I think it's plastic. I'm not an electrician, but um, whatever. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, the myelin is the same principle. It stops um, signals, obviously misdirecting. It stays on on, on, a, on a pathway. The myelin sheath is um, a cover made out of fat and proteins, covering an axon of a nerve cell. Insert insert. <laughs> Wow, I'm having trouble pronouncing words today. Insulates neurons so they can send signals faster and more efficiently. Smiling helps uh, to keep uh, the current at a flow at a particular distance without it being misdirected by maintaining agile communication between body parts. This is an interesting fact, when babies are born, they have very weak myelin sheaths. So therefore you always see them like kind of stumbling and the coordination of walking is really, really bad. Movements are jerky and uncoordinated. That's because the babies lack in the myelin sheaths in the nervous system. Myelin sheaths develop over time. Then as you can see, the child is uh, developing efficient movement. He starts to walk, she or he starts to walk, starts to use his hands to pick up objects. I keep saying he, <laughs> it, I'll use it as it, I don't want to be sexist. Uh, it uses his hands, limbs to pick up objects and every time it does so, it creates a better efficiency for the future. This is the interesting bit. So scientists have found that whenever you practice a maneuver over and over again, the myelin sheath in the nervous system actually thickens. Every time you practice that movement, it sends the signal and it um, makes it, let's just say, this is the axon of the nerve and this is the myelin, okay? So every time you do a particular movement, electrical signals are getting sent from your brain to the nervous system in order to uh, move a particular bone, uh, bone, particular bone and contract certain muscles. So many things are happening, but stay with me. So once you repeat a particular movement, the brain sends them signals and makes it more efficient because the, the myelin, which is the sheath here on the axon, gets thicker. So this bit gets thicker and thicker every time you send them signals to do the same maneuver again. But the question you should be asking is, why is thicker better? This is not going where you think it's going. <laughs> Bigger is always better. 
um, it gets thicker and thicker so therefore when next time you decide to make that maneuver again it sends the signal a lot quicker so the signal improves by sending it a lot more efficient and a lot faster muscle memory there is no such thing as muscle memory that is just a, a myth that is just made up there's been no studies to show that there is muscle memory it's all in the mind and the nervous system it's nothing to do with muscle obviously the, the, uh, the peripheral nervous system connects the muscles in order to contract but it's the actual nervous system that's adapted it's nothing to do with the muscle or the muscle is just contracting everything you're good at your myelin sheets will be a lot thicker for that particular movement so basically this shit is broadband it's electrical beauty within us <laughs> it's a neural broadband that's what this shit is it's beautiful <laughs> I love to use that word, don't I? Beautiful. This, this, this is what improvements are made of. That's one thing I want you to understand. If you're going to watch this video and get anything out of it, is this is what improvements are made of. And if you're that person who wants to improve, then my friend, put the pedal to the metal and do your thing, girl. Oh boy. The next time your coach says, do it again. Don't fucking bitch about it and just fucking do it because you know that when you repeat that process you are getting more efficient and you are getting better every time. Not every ten times, every time on a on a micro micro base, but you are getting better. To so basically explain it in simple terms. The book I'm reading at the moment is called The Talent Code. I've read it before but I didn't finish the last bit by Daniel Coyle and you know I love my book recommendations so the book should be coming right now he talks about something called deep practice and it's just basically doing the maneuver that you want to learn or if it's too hard for that particular time of yours because you're not adapted then break it down so I'm going to explain my little story I'm learning to do a 90 degree push up Yes, that's what I'm learning to do. But at the moment, I'm having a bit of injuries with my f with my, f with my wrist, and my shoulder, and my lower back. So these are the things I've had for years, but I've neglected them. So now I'm kind of paying the price, and I'm, I'm just taking care of my body. I'm not doing anything. I'm just letting my body heal itself. But that is my goal. So what I'm going to do, as you can see, you can't just do that straight away. So what do I have to do in order to do that maneuver? So as you can see, I have to be able to hold a handstand clearly and control it. So that's my goal. I'm doing handstands. I'm doing 20 minutes handstands a day, learning how to do it against the wall and stuff like that. I'm learning how to do pipe push-ups. I'm learning how to do uh, press-ups. Just I'm learning how to do shoulder presses against the wall. These are the things that you need to do because you can't just do that straight away. I need to do 90 degree press-ups because like, as you can see in the 90 degree video your feet are not touching the floor at all so you go in a position called a planche which is a gymnastics move where you kind of do a press up so Zohan actually wasn't making that stuff up when he was doing press ups with no hands can anyone here do this? <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, I have never seen that. That is very nice, but that is not going to help me. Besides, I have no openings. If anything, I need to scale back since they just raised my rent through the roof. Don, Scrappy Coco knows his stuff. Scrappy Coco is the best. It was quick and short, but it needed to be just to get straight to the point. I know some of my videos drag a bit, but I do it out of passion. And I don't mean to drag on a, a, a lot because I know viewers will get bored because I get bored when the video is longer than 10 minutes. But I try condensing it as much as I can. <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and comment. And until next time, peace. See you later, data. <laughs>